Jake Ludington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Doris Brown from HP's graphic solutions business. And you've got a bunch of interesting printed objects for me once again. And it looks like uh, Coca-Cola products in particular, and then uh, some water towers. <laughs> Tell me about what's going on here. I brought two things for you. I wanted to show you the newest campaign from Coca-Cola. Last time we talked, I talked to you about the Share a Coke campaign, where they took individual names, placed them on the bottles, and made them available in different geographies. This went all around the world. It was in Europe, it was in Asia Pacific Marketplace, and it was, of course, in the United States this past summer, which we talked oh, so about. So we were like the last ones to get it. We were the last ones to get it, but it's probably one of the most successful campaigns they've run in a long time, and it really showed the value of, of personalization in the minds of people. Um, for us at HP, what it did was it really busted all the myths that digital is not available for large run format labels. I mean, we're talking billions, two billion labels and plus were done on this technology. So it's, it's, it's a very good time because there's a lot of interest coming around now about packaging and labels. So I'm bringing you something that you haven't seen because this is the launch of it that's occurring in Israel right now. Coca-Cola liked this campaign, but this was really not personalization. Every single bottle wasn't different. There were 150 names in each geography they chose. And so it was more of a version type program. So they chose the top names in each, each one of those areas and those became versions. They really loved the idea of having each separate item personalized, where it'd be totally unique and totally independent for that person. So we in the Israeli group um, came up with a new software program called HP Mosaic that works with our smart stream solution. And it takes a large piece of art and goes in and randomly captures elements from it, enlarges it, positions it, re-angles it, so that every single wrap that's coming off of the press is totally different. So we're talking about billions of individual designs, no two alike totally, totally individual. And this is the newest campaign that's occurring right now. And I noticed that on the back, these have a, a, like a, a unique uh, number. I don't know if that'll show up on the video or not, but every one of them has its own number. Correct. And that ties into a greater campaign that they have to merchandise products. So let's say that you've got a Coke bottle and you really like this one, you want to maintain it, and now you're looking to get a cell phone wrap. You can actually go online and order that graphic and it'll be produced onto the cell phone wrap for your appropriate phone. Um, you can also go and order things like t-shirts. So the t-shirts will have the same imagery. Um, if you've walked around the show, you've seen that we have a smart car wrapped with the artwork from one of these bottles. So um, it, it really is that art of possibilities, once again. It's, it's where um, innovative marketeers are understanding the personalization is a very good way to connect, and they're testing the boundaries of how far can they take this. And it's, um, it's to be seen. We're, we're very excited about it and, it, and it's going over very well right now. So that was the first one. That was really the Coca-Cola campaign. Now I wanted to really take you to a larger place. Yeah, so, so what exactly are these uh, water towers? So let me give you a little story background. There's a uh, photographer photojournalist named Mary Jordan out of New York City. She's an artist too. And uh, she went to um, Ethiopia to do some uh, documentary work. And while she was there, she came down ill. And she was in a village, and the women there took her in to, to bring her back to health. And they had to walk almost three hours a day to get potable water, water that was clean enough that they could give her to bring her back. Um, this went on for a few weeks. Mary did get better. And when she was leaving, she was really trying to thank them. You know, take my camera, take my clothing, take my money. I, you saved my life. And one woman uh, looked at her, and she had just had a baby. She was probably all of maybe 16, 17 years old. She said, do me one favor. Go back to your country and make them aware of the problem we have in getting water and make them aware of the struggles we have. So Mary went back to New York City and, and of course was always in the back of her mind, what can I do to help these people? They helped me. And she looked out the window and she saw a large water tower tank. And she said, ah, if we put artwork onto those water tower tanks and we start to market and bring awareness to the issue of lack of pot potable water or the issue of sustainability and how much water we waste, that would be my way of making you know, people aware of the issue for these people and also maybe getting some con contribution monies. So she opened up a 501c3 and she's doing one of the largest outdoor art exhibitions in the New York area since Christos the Gates. So there's a hundred water tower tanks that are being wrapped with art from different artists. So these are my little mini water tanks. And um, some of the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. So here's an example of one piece that's being done. Of course, I couldn't bring the large formats, but they're- You didn't bring a, a real water tower? No, no. <laughs> you know, it was, I watched a video the other day with her and she was giving me a statistic which was frightening. She says that one water tower tank in, in New York City 
holds enough water to feed a or to make available water to one of these families for five years, and one American wastes that much money, that water in one year. Wow. It's just frightening, frightening statistics. So anyway, back to this. So she's she went and um, started having discussions with the New York City State Commission to environmental protection to be able to do this. And of course, you know, they put red flags up because you can't put things outside that could damage the water table if, it, if the rain hits it and it's toxic. So in her investigation, she came across our latex solutions, which are totally environmentally friendly and, stu and they have a, a strong environmental footprint. So um, we talked. We talked, and every single water tower tank now is being produced off of our latex material, and, and they're stunning. Um, you, you're going to be going to New York. We talked a little bit before the interview. Uh, it's lovely to walk down the streets and look up, and all of a sudden you see this, this. It brings a smile to your face because you see a lot of the dull New York City landscape, and then you have this pop of color. So uh, that's the little water tower tank project. That's cool. Yeah. And, it, and it's an impressive use of, of uh, very large format printing. Very large format printing. Um, it, it's um, it started a whole new, there's a lot of 3D outdoor work going on right now. People are looking to change the landscapes. And uh, once again, when you're dealing with a municipality or if you're dealing with a, a city or a state, there are regulations involved. So um, one of the things that's nice, it gives us an opportunity through working with Mary in this project to make people aware of the, the, the major advantages of working with latex. Um, it, it made it easier for her to get the project to go into the market, but also at the same time, it gave her a very strong footing in which what she was talking about because she wasn't talking about doing a project that would be toxic to the environment. She really could have a, a strong stance and say, I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I'm doing wonderful work for a philanthropic reason, and I'm using smart technology to make it happen. So we're very proud to be behind her at that project. Very cool. I look forward to seeing what you have next time. Look up. And thank you. <laughs>